Bye bye, crooked little house. Weißt du noch, wie die heißt? Kann ich auf dem Navi gucken? Mm. Yesterday is pizza. Danish border. We made it. I'm not an illegal immigrant. Sorry. <laughs> 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 ciao. Oh, ciao. We see us. Yeah. <laughs> Drive safely. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Right, that's it. Back on the road again. Let me get a little bit of light here. They've dropped me off at, yeah, like a fuel station. Um, apparently, the trucks have to stop here and pick up like a permit to drive in Denmark, which is means that I might be able to get a ride all the way to um, uh, Copenhagen because I want to check out Christiana. It started out as a squat, like it was an old abandoned military base, um, like I think 40 years ago, back in the 70s or something like that. And they turned it into a squat and there's a bunch of people living there. Uh, in fact, it's basically like a city with a law unto themselves. And it's within Copenhagen. It's always been like a bit of a hippie place, you know, almost like Amsterdam. You could go in there and just buy kind of drugs and, you know, there's a lot of artsy type people in there. It's like a social experiment. That was the whole thing. So I want to go check this out, see what that's all about, do a little bit of research on it. Has anyone else been to Christiana? Let me know. Australian. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Where are you from? You can't take over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Okay, now I'm about 50 kilometers away from Copenhagen. The bloke just took me about 150 kilometers. Really misty and cold and grey. You know the chicken or the egg, right? You yeah. know the old chicken or the egg example. What came first? Was it the lack of motivation and therefore now they're in now they're in a dead end job. Lack of curiosity means they have no insight. They can't look ahead and think, hang on, wouldn't it be awesome if I did this or what would happen? If I did that, and they have no dreams. So yeah, lives. they have no dreams. So then, so then, was it, was it, is that what came first, and that's why they're in a dead end job, or was it, you know, what, what, anything dead end job, or, or they're obese, or just you know doing something which isn't fruitful for them, mm -hmm. or was it that they they got this unfruitful job first, or un, you know, unfruitful lifestyle, and then that became the norm for them and then they lost curiosity they had no curiosity you know what came first you know i kind of wonder sometimes they know what they have uh, and that's a secure thing so they stay with that yeah and then they have no ability to to dream uh, about what just asking that simple question where do i want to where do i see myself in five ten years yep and then pursue that uh, Yep. They don't, they just uh, know this is the way it's always been uh, and they, they just go on living like their parents and the parents before them. And that's it, and it's enough. Second ride achieved. Copenhagen, 10 kilometers. Yeah. Again. <laughs> Vivi. 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 Ciao, Vivi. <laughs> Ciao. <and> hi, Australia. <laughs> okay. Fish way and you come to Copenhagen. Okay. Thanks again, man. Goodbye. <laughs> Apparently, this is normal weather for Denmark in winter. That's what uh, Vivi was saying. By the way, 
I've just noticed they have petrol stations here that say Q8 and I, I didn't realize when VV said Q8 I thought oh it sounds like the country Q8 and I kind of put two and two together and thought oh maybe it's a, maybe it's like a company from Q8 I don't know it's like a blonde moment you know stupid thing to say I guess but never heard anyone actually say it until just now so there you go eating my lunch which I brought this morning from um, Stefan's house with like a Greek salad that I prepared last night got a bit of sausage in here and some um, mortadella I think it is or something like that it's like ham I lost my spoon which I've been carrying with me for the last two years it's my special spoon I've eaten curries on buses in India I've eaten green curries and noodles in Thailand whatever those fermented beans are called in Japan I can't remember the name of them natto I've eaten natto with my spoon kebabs and other kind of salads in Turkey man I've eaten food all over the world that was a special spoon that was my friend devastated and whenever I finish I lick it and I put it back in my pocket or back in my bag and it's ready for whenever I need it for that day when I have when I have food I need a spoon and I've lost it I don't know where it is maybe it's in my bag somewhere so I'm now eating my food with this stick which they use to stir coffee with them's the break so I was so hungry I'm just gonna eat my food here in the petrol station um, and take a break from the hitchhiking this is how you eat with a stick you like that? Skills. One piece at a time. Lucky I have a hoover mouth. <laughs> At the library.